A student wrote that uh, if z equals to x plus i y, where x and y are real, is a rule of the equation, right? Then the conjugate of z equals to x minus i y is also a root, right? So explain whether the statement is always true. Now you know that by the conjugate root theorem, this will only be true if what? If only the coefficients are real, right? So the coefficient has to be real, huh? so it may not be true all the time, right? So this is uh, for part one. Part 2, given that uh, 2 plus i is a root of the equation 4z cubed minus 11z squared plus 25 equals to 0. Right, we know that 2 plus i is a root and you can see that all the coefficients are real. So if 2 plus i is a root, uh, we can also say that by the complex conjugate root theorem, 2 minus i is also a root, right? It's uh, sorry, I should use the word also, also a root, right? So, uh, what we can do is maybe we can just let the last root. You, you know that by the common conjugate, so if you have one pair, the last one has to be a, a real, it has to be a real number, it can't be a, a it can't be a complex number, right? Because complex number comes in pairs, uh, so okay, so with that. 4z cubed plus 25 can be written in this manner for z with the first root right and the second root and the last root I'm just going to call it a because I don't know what is it I don't know what is it all right goes to zero right okay like comparing the coefficient of uh, z power zero Right, so what I can do is uh, maybe I can just look at all the constants. Do you see? Or oh, basically, what I do is I just sub z as zero, uh, that's fine. I can just sub z as zero. Okay, I can sub z, uh, maybe I can say I sub z as zero. You can see I, I have a uh, four multiplied by negative two plus i multiplied by negative two minus i. Multiply negative a, it will give me uh, zero, right? So actually, uh, a is equals to negative five over four, right? So, so what's the answer? You can see that the final answer will just be two plus i, two minus i, and negative five over four.